Let's go back to looking at the default implementation of list. I'll set our list to the side for a minute and just look at this implementation. My party ages will do what we've been doing throughout the entire playlist where we add some ages here of the people that are coming to my party. We for each over that list and then we right line the age here. So if I control F5, we'll see 25, 34, and 32. Those are the values that are inside of our list. Let's close that. Come back here. And instead of saying right line age, I'm going to say my party ages dot remove at. And remove at takes an index here, the item we want to remove. And I'll just say, hey, remove the second item. Why not? So this is the one-th, the zeroth item, sorry, the zeroth item, the one-th item, and the tooth item. I'm going to remove party age 32. F10, just step through this, watch what happens. F10, 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 remove at 2, F10, F10, we get an exception saying collection was modified, enumeration operation may not execute. So essentially, after you modify your sequence, uh, you can remove, or you could add, let's add, I'll say add another party comer, 35 years old, we'll F5 on that, and we get the same exception. At the exact same place, saying, hey, uh, collection was modified, enumeration operation may not execute. Once you get an enumerator from the built-in list, you cannot modify your sequence. Your sequence either becomes read-only at that point, logically read-only, there's nothing really forcing you to make it read-only, or you just, you don't enumerate anymore. So once you get an enumerator, you must not modify the sequence after doing that or else your enumerator is no good. Now, you can get an, a new enumerator if you like. You don't have to be stuck with the old one. You can get a new one and start iterating again. But once you say for each, your sequence or your list at that point, this is the implementation depends on the sequence you're iterating. The list, the generic list, must not be Modify it. And I believe Microsoft did this for stability reasons, just saying, hey, if you're going to iterate through this thing, what, what if you remove like 20 items and one of the items you remove is the one I'm referencing? For example, let's go here and say my party ages dot remove at zero. So on the very first iteration of the for each, we're going to remove the zeroth item. In fact, you've seen me translate a for each to what the compiler does. Let's actually do that again. I enumerator int rater gets my party ages dot get enumerator while rater dot move next and control down arrow to scroll a little bit. We'll say remove at the zeroth one, but I'm going to say console right line uh, rater dot current. We'll do it uh, before and after the removal of the zeroth item. Watch this behavior. I thought this was kind of interesting. Create our list, get our enumerator, rater.move next. Now rater is referencing the 25, the zeroth item in our list. If I F10 over rater.current, you can see that rater.current is 25. Now let's remove at. We'll remove the zeroth item. That means remove the 25. F10. Well, now what is rater? referencing according to Microsoft standards. It's it's invalid. Raider is invalid. It's not referencing anything legit, so so we'll call it invalid. But what's funny is I can F10 over Raider.current and Raider.current still reports a 25, but if I F10 here eventually when we say move next, it's saying, hey, I can't move next. You invalidated the sequence. Anyway, that's kind of interesting. I actually got a little curious on this one. I I went down to my command prompt, and let's say csc main class dot cs will compile this file I have in the background. Reflector main class dot exe. Let's go poke around a little bit and just look at the uh, list for a minute. I'll come in here, main class, look at main. You can see all of our code is here. I'll click on list dot get enumerator so we can see the list implementation of the enumerator. I suspected they used yield, but yield wouldn't be able to track whether the sequence was being modified or not. And sure enough, they return a new enumerator. If I click on this, you can see that enumerator is a private nested class of list. I showed you how to do this in a previous video. And let's go look at that enumerator's move next function. And oh, look here, we say, this version, if this version is equal to the list version and this index is less than the list size, so they're doing a check here making sure there's another thing to return and that this version thing matches up, then they cache away the value of current, they increment index, return true. Otherwise, they do this 
move next rare. I wonder who came up with that function name. And move next rare. It says, hey, if the versions don't match, then throw an invalid operation. And, hey, we, we, we can't enumerate. Okay, something's wrong. And this version here, if, if we look at this dot version, that's a, the list enumerator tracks the version number and it compares it to the list version. If we look at list version here, it's just a simple private int. That's a data member of list here. Wow, list is really long here, but let's let's look at add. If I click on list add, let's look at their version. Their th what they wrote for add. They say, hey, if this size is if, if we need more room, then increase the size. We've seen that in previous videos. And then store the item they're storing, and then increment the version. I thought that was kind of interesting. Microsoft's list has this version number, and anytime you add, I bet if we go look at remove, let's click on remove here. They they just use remove at. Anytime they modify the list, they just increment the version. If we get an enumerator, that enumerator will track whatever the version number was for the list. And if we modify the list, then obviously that the version that the enumerator is storing will not match the version that the list is actually at. And so the enumerator just checks for that. And if, if the versions don't match, it says, hey, I don't know what you did. You added, you removed, you did something. I'm throwing an exception because that's kind of unstable. What you're trying to do is modify the list after you get enumerator. And, and maybe that'll work, maybe it won't, but I'll assume it doesn't and I'll just throw an exception in your face.